So today I'm going to go over the NeoVim setup that I like to use for OCaml and it's loosely based off the functionality I got from Toreg mode in Emacs and I just kind of wanted to replicate that and make a video about it because I haven't seen too many setup videos on YouTube and I think OCaml is a great training language and by that I mean it's got a modern syntax not the parentheses lisp syntax um, some people believe that Rust uses its type system some of its functional aspects so I think it's a great language to use to kind of flex those functional muscles get them working and uh, allows you to apply that to other languages very easily without going super functional like something like Haskell I feel like it's a happy middle ground and a great test workout language if you will so you know the most basic function here just takes some number squares it um, if I wanted to run that in a REPL which I like to do a lot with these languages that I use mainly for little algorithms and for practice I'd have to create a new window move it down then enter terminal mode run either OCaml the other OCaml REPL exit terminal mode move back up and the one plugin I'm using is Vim Slime. Uh, I found that it's the most bare bones kind of like interactive plugin for NeoVim. I really like it. And I use it a lot with these like pseudo plugins that I make, which are just a collection of functions in my config. So here I have F defined. Now I can use it like that. So perfect. That's the functionality that I want, but not necessarily the functionality that I'm or the process I'm okay with doing over and over again. So if I were to do it again, what I'd do is I'd do space RR. It looks for a Dune file. If it sees one, it'll give me a different output, but it doesn't see one, so it just gives me the standard OCaml terminal. And then I have a little function that lets me toggle between a terminal window and a non-terminal window, even if that window disappears. So now I can do let fx equal x x send it over perfect so that is the workflow that I like and it, it's very streamlined it feels a lot like Toreg mode and I'll quickly go over how to get that working so first off what I have is I have the REPL defined as UTOP initially I have the REPL ID and I have the command and what this lets me do is it lets me have a session saved command and REPL command that I use and REPL ID. So with Slime, if you close a terminal, it is looking for that job ID. And if it can't find it, you'll have to like manually find out the job ID. So what I have here is I just have something to store the REPL ID so that I can see what it is for each REPL if I need to um, reconnect it with Slime. So the first thing is I want to have this variable found and it's if I can find a dune file somewhere so if I do then I know I'm in a project uh, otherwise I'm not and then here this is um, pretty simple it just looks for a REPL and checks the uh, like the outer scoped REPL ID there and if it's found it returns it and if not it says no active REPL and then this is very derivative of a lot of the other kind of REPL functional um, plugins that I've made or configurations where all it's really doing is opening a window, moving it down, and then opening a terminal with a specific command in there. But as simple as it is, it does help really smooth out that workflow. So I check if there's a Dune project. If there is, then the suggested command is Dune space REPL and what that does is it loads in all of the um, like required packages dependencies things like that if I'm using UTOP and then otherwise it just suggests OCaml but then it also lets me put in my own input and it opens that window and then saves the REPL ID so that way the command and REPL ID are being saved each time they change so you never have to worry about retyping the same thing or manually figuring out which REPL ID you're using. Let me see here. The only other config I have 
is yeah, setting up those key maps. But that's how I have been going around doing that. And here I have a Dune project, but I think that I, yeah, I switched it to using the traditional camel style, but just to show that it works, you can see Dune Utop right there. And now if I send something over, it sends it via that. So let me move this over here so you can see. Move the font a little bit big. Just again going over a simple merge sort to kind of learn the syntax of the language. And here we go. Just to show that it's working using that same terminal command. Let me merge sort this guy. Perfect. So just a quick and easy way to set up um, NeoVim for OCaml. I think it drastically increases your efficiency when you're just trying to work on these little practice problems. Um, just learn the functional style, learn functional programming, do some simple leak code problems, basic algorithmic problems. I really love using the REPL for that, being able to play around with data, see what the functions are doing, see if they're working, not working. And especially when you're using a functional language where it's treating data as like, you know, just data, you can see that pipeline of how it's changing, what each function is doing, and just make sure you're getting the, uh, the output you want without writing tests first, which is probably a better thing to do if you're writing a big piece of software. But when you're just playing around, I think the REPL is second to none. Thank you.